Hello, I'm Martin Warren and I shall be giving a short presentation on writing numbers in engineering format. So the objective of this presentation is to convert a number in any form into engineering form and then be able to reverse the process. When you use engineering format, the number must be between 1 and 999. It can have a decimal part. It will then be multiplied by a power of 10 if necessary. And the powers of 10 must go up and down in steps of 3. This conforms to the SI units such as kilo, 10 to the power 3, mega, 10 to the power 6, giga, 10 to the power 9, or milli, 10 to the power minus 3, micro, 10 to the power minus 6, or nano, 10 to the power minus 9. And there are many more of these, but those are the most common ones. This slide shows the common powers of 10. If you take the right hand column, you note that the little power 12, 9, 6, 3, 0, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9, minus 12 differs by 3 each time. So we come down from 10 to the power 12, which is tera, all the way down to 10 to the minus 12, which is pico. So tera, giga, mega, kilo. Notice that kilo has a lowercase k when it's written as a prefix milli, micro, nano and pico for the very small values. Engineering format is very good when dealing with very large numbers and very small numbers because it forces you to write the number as a value between 1 and 999, maybe with a decimal part but then multiplied by 10 raised to a power. So we could have 1 watt by itself no times 10 to the power there. We could have a thousand watts, which is equivalent to one times 10 to the power of three. And we call that a kilowatt, so one kilowatt. We could have a million watts, 10 to the power of six, one times 10 to the power of six, which is one MW, megawatt. We could have one billion watts, a thousand million, one times 10 to the power of nine, which is eight gigawatt. Or we could have one times 10 to the power of 12, which is one terawatt. And it's much easier to write 1 TW for terawatt than write out all those zeros. And then when dealing with small numbers, we could start off with 1 watt. We could have 0 0.001 or 1 thousandth of a watt. We could write that as 1 times 10 to the power minus 3 or 1 lowercase m watt, 1 milliwatt. And continue, we go 1 times 10 to the power minus 6, which we would call 1 microwatt. We use the little symbol mu in this case to represent micro. So 1 times 10 to the power minus 9, 1 nanowatt. Or 1 times 10 to the power minus 12, which is 1 picowatt. And you notice it's much easier to write 1 NW or 1 PW to represent nano and pico than to write out a long string of zeros. So in engineering format, just to reiterate, the number that we're going to write will be between 1 and 999 and then almost certainly be multiplied by 10 to a power. If we've got a large number, it's going to be 1 times 10 to the power 3, 6, 9, 12. If it's a small number, it'd be 1 times 10 to the power minus 3, minus 6, minus 9, minus 12. So I'm just going to go through a few examples of converting a number in non-engineering format into engineering format. Here we have 2,375 watts. If we want to convert that into engineering format, it'd be written as a number between 1 and 999, and it would times a power of 10. So between 1 and 999, well, we're going to write 2.375 times 10 to the power of 3, which we could call 2.375 kilowatts. And again, I make the point that you use a lowercase k for kilo. Here we've got quite a large number, 2,375,000 watts. We want to express that in engineering format. So the number must be between 1 and 999 times a power of 10. So an engineering format is 2.375 times 10 to the power of 6, or 2.375 megawatts. Here we've got an even larger number, 
and we want you to convert that to engineering format well when you count the zeros you realize that you got 78.3 times 10 to the power 9 or 78.3 gigawatts again it's much easier to write 78.3 GW then write all those zeros out if we look at smaller numbers 0.045 of a watt we want to express that as a number between 1 and 999 we're gonna to have to move the decimal point and we do that by multiplying by a thousand if you like so we end up with 45 to compensate for that it's 45 milliwatts or you could just look at 0.045 and say so I've got a 5 in the 1,000 column. Express that in thousands, 45 milliwatts. So 45 times 10 to the power minus 3. And continuing on, 0.00045. That's going to be 450 times 10 to the power minus 6. So 450 microwatts. And an even more awkward number, which you can probably guess by now the way this is going, can be represented by 72 times 10 to the power minus 9, or 72 nanowatts. If you enter all those zeros into your calculator, you almost certainly have an ENG button on your calculator, which will convert it to a power of 10. Well worth using.